Hey, what's going on, everybody? I uh, just got a package in today and uh, got two uh, parts from Center Fire Systems that I got for my uh, both my AKs, my Mini Draco, and my uh, Wasser 10 Attack Roll 1 that I have all decked out a little bit. And I'm uh, gonna go ahead and do a an uh, box opening. I know some guys kind of like to watch that, so I figure I'll go ahead and uh, do it. Got an uh, invoice, which you guys all need to see that. <laughs> and uh, first thing, I got the uh, UTG uh, Generation 5 uh, quick release, uh, aka you know, scope mount. Of course, it's the uh, exact same one that I have here. Uh, and actually, uh, in case anybody's wondering, uh, I bought this uh, scope mount uh, for this one. <laughs> Even though I have one, yes, uh, I know. But what I'm planning on doing is I uh, kind of wanted both a uh, close range uh, AK and also something, you know, I know they're not really accurate or nothing, about 200 yards with the optic. Uh, I would say you're probably going to get your best groupings. Of course, I'm not really, you know, an expert on this kind of stuff. So, of course, it, it may vary, you know, some people can be a lot more accurate than that, maybe a little farther, but I would say that's about as far as you really want to go with an AK-47. Uh, because uh, really it just starts dropping off, you know. And it may not, it, it may be pushing it for that distance, but uh, but anyways, of course you want to make sure you have, you know, no wind and all that, and that will really help out a lot. But for me, most of probably I'll, uh, I'll go with this is probably about 100 yards or so. Uh, of course, my range you can go, I'm a, you know, about like 200 yards, but uh, I don't know if you know I want to really take this weapon that far out there, you know, because groupings probably aren't going to be all, be all that great. But uh, anyways, and I'm planning on using a uh, scope here. This one I had on numerous guns, and I kept replacing it and used put something else on. It's just the NC Star uh, 3 by 12 by uh, 56. It has uh, illuminated uh, reticles. I believe it does. Yes, it does. And uh, of course, it's actually dead right now. Go figure. But uh, yeah, it has a pretty big uh, objective lens on it. So I'm planning on, uh, like I said, putting the one scope mount and uh, sighting this out for pretty, you know, good distance. And then with my red dot I have on it, this is going to be my close range uh, sight. So in case you know, I know everybody likes, you know, talk about it, but if the shit hits the fan. Uh, I'll throw. The scope mount with the, the scope on it, uh, you know, on a backpack or something, and uh, figured for uh, close engagements, and what I mostly would use is, of course, a red dot. And in case if I get in a situation where I may maybe uh, am hiding somewhere and I need to take a uh, longer uh, shot, you know, I can hurry up and throw on my uh, scope and, you know, hopefully I'll get, them, get somebody from that distance. Of course, that's just talking you know shit hit the fan situation but uh i i'm not really one of those guys that really get all anal about that kind of stuff you know like i don't get compared or uh prepared like some of the other guys but i figured uh you know that's what i would use probably is uh to have it with me if you know god forbid we was in a situation like that but uh mostly i just wanted just for the range just to have fun with just to have something to go you know farther range and uh close quarters too, you know. Uh, that's really why I bought it, not because of the uh, sit, or, uh, shit hits the fan situation, but yeah, so I'm not really gonna talk about the scope mount too much. Uh, you know, I've been really uh, pleased with uh, the one I got on it now, so I said, what the hell, I'll get another one, so here it is. It's uh, very, very nicely uh, machined and everything. And it even has the uh, rail on the side for a flashlight or a laser or whatnot, which I think a laser would be useless. But that's just my opinion. And of course you have the uh, quick release option, which I like a lot. Uh, so, yeah, it's, I've been happy with my the one on the red dot, so I figured I'd uh, mount a uh, scope to this one. 
So I can always, you know, switch off back and forth, and then if either one of the optics fail, then you got your iron sight. So. And the other thing I did was uh, I made a video that my uh, my Draco, uh, the muzzle brake, the Tapco slant muzzle brake I had my Draco, it actually broke. Uh, well, actually it cracked, you know, it split. And uh, so I've been without a muzzle brake for a little while, and I said, you know what, I need to get one. And uh, so the one I ended up opting for, which I think it might look pretty sweet, uh, I went for the crank off style muzzle brake. Kind of like the 74, you know, 74U crank off, you know. Uh, and I think it's going to match up very nicely as far as the finish. Uh, so yeah, here it is. Of course it does not, unfortunately, does not have the little cuts in the, uh, you know, the little U-type shape cuts in it. Maybe I may uh, think about doing it another time or something. But, uh. Sorry, it's not really getting in any lighting or nothing. So, and it has the little ports on the top, you know, to help with the uh, muzzle rise and everything. It's more of like a flash hider. It's not really a brake. Well, I mean, it is, but uh, the actual, the original design, uh, Krinkoff, uh, I don't even believe it has any uh, holes on the top. It was just actually, I think, was designed just for the actual uh, uh, muzzle flash, you know, flash hider only. But, uh, so, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and install it. It's probably going to be off camera, but of course. Uh, but, uh, anyways, uh, the weapon is unloaded, by the way. Both of them are. Just uh, let you know about that. Of course, these uh, threads are sometimes a pain to start. Sometimes I always forget which way they go. <laughs> I know they reverse threads, but sometimes I still forget about them. In case anybody doesn't know, as far as, uh, you know, you're like, oh, how far can you, uh, or how far should you do the uh, muzzle brake? Well, what I would usually do, or recommend, is bring it all the way until it's completely tight, until you can't turn anymore. And of course, you know, it won't be in the detent, and then just turn it back the opposite way again. Like if you was loosening it until it clicks into place. So then you know that's as far as it's going to go. And uh, there you go. And right away I can tell you I like it. I think it looks pretty sweet looking. Let me uh, take the camera off the uh, tripod so I maybe you can see it a little better. And the light, because it wasn't really giving me good for lighting. So there it is. There's a little holes in the top. So uh, yeah, I think it looks pretty sweet looking in my opinion. So uh, yeah, pretty cool. And of course, I may not do it, but I may, I may eventually. Cut some notches in here to give it a little more of a crank off uh, look to it, you know. But uh, yeah, it ends up matching the uh, the Draco finish, the rough finish, the rough Parker eyes, so it matches it perfectly almost. Uh, at least from this distance, it looks exactly the same, so that's pretty cool. Uh, so yeah, there you go. And then uh, I'll probably do end up uh, an update video later on with the uh, the scope once I install it on my Wasser 10 there, and I'll show you the two, you know. But, uh, so yeah, that's what I got. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to ask, and uh, thanks for watching.